this. I didn't know what a first down was until I was 19. <laughs> <laughs> Family, friends, colleagues, take a look around for a moment. You're never going to have another day quite like this one. When I learned that I gave the privilege of giving the charge today, I had a close friend talking about it, and he gave me some advice. He said, remember, it isn't about you, it's about other people. The more I thought about those words, the more I realized how appropriate they were for today's event. But for one thing, we recognize that these festivities are as much for parents, relatives, and friends as they are for students. But beyond that, today recognizes and represents a transitional period to a new time in your lives that's going to be wildly different. Brace yourself, my friends. In the next few weeks or the next few months, you're going to discover, just like I did, it isn't about you anymore. It's about other people. And that's going to come as a difficult shock for most of us. Because college teaches us, often rightfully so, that everything is about us. Nowhere is it better exemplified in the amount that we as students are given and the amount that we take. Let's talk about a few examples. Freshman year, first day of class, the professor gave you a syllabus. Midway through the semester, he gave you a midterm. At the end of finals week, he gave you a grade. The common theme in all of these, the professor initiated the contact. In other words, the system is built around you. And when it comes to taking, as honor students, we should have a degree in it. Because we are experienced and we are experts at benefiting from the enormous generosity of the Salary Bible Barksdale Honors College. But soon enough, that give and take relationship is going to change drastically. And if you think I just mean figuratively, you may want to check your missed calls at the reception. The Alumni Association would like to talk to you. <laughs> so how are these drastic and literal changes going to manifest themselves? Well, regardless of where you're headed from here, the working world, higher education, professional school, starting a family, they're going to come in two major shifts. The first one, you'll be giving a lot more. If you're going into the corporate world, your boss will expect to give them profits, give them results, give them details, or they'll give you a pink slip. If you're going into graduate school, you'll be expected to give your life, or at least 80 hours a week of it, to your advisor. For all of us moving on, we should strive to continue the tradition of the Honors College of giving back to the community that we're part of. And in all of these situations, sole responsibility lies with us to initiate and to sustain these interactions. The other major change, people are going to be taking from you. Now, I don't mean you're going to get mugged frequently unless you're moving to New York City. <laughs> what I mean is that the Honors College has made each of you a uniquely gifted and a uniquely talented individual. And the people around you, coworkers, friends, subordinates, bosses, children, students, everyone, will recognize that fact. People around you will need you, will seek you out, will need your guidance, your assistance, and your friendship. So my friends, how do we face these challenges? The same way the Honors College has taught us to face every challenge. Passionately. Seize every opportunity you have to show those around you that when it comes to being a self-motivated lover of learning, you can't be an SMBHC scholar. Give freely of your talents, your wisdom, your thoughts, your knowledge to all those around you. Give thanks to everyone that has helped make you who you are, and give respect whenever you're taught, because we all know learning doesn't end with a bachelor's degree. Most importantly, my friends, when people seek you out, be humble, and embrace the privilege to impact their lives the same way the Honors College has impacted all of our lives. Friends, family, and colleagues, thank you so much for your time.